We are live, yes. I think so. That's what the little red uh, thing in the corner tells me. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining in uh, Opera 101, uh, our daily daily meeting with uh, Cleveland Opera Theater. Um, we usually either uh, respond to questions or talk about uh, something new, but uh, today I would like to talk to you about something uh, very special, a special project that um, uh, that we put together. And what's special about it is uh, the people that are involved and uh, the meaning uh, behind it. Um, considering the current um, situation with uh, with the virus and and how uh, tragic this whole situation is, uh, we decided to um, um, gemellaggio in Italiano uh, to collaborate with a country that um, has taken a, a very heavy toll uh, and that is Italy, home uh, and the US, which is home. Um, so, uh, these two countries, unfortunately, are going through a lot these days. A lot of people uh, have lost uh, a lot of loved ones, and uh, it's just terrible. Uh, the only thing that we can do is uh, honor all of those who lost their lives with, uh, with music. Um, so, that's why... Um, I picked up. I picked up the phone and I called a very, a very dear friend of mine. Uh, her name is uh, Teresa Romano. She's a soprano, uh, and I asked her, um, "Hey, this is what's going on. Uh, how can how can I involve you um, um, in 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 this project? What would you like to sing?" Uh, so. She came up with this uh, with this beautiful uh, be this beautiful selection, uh, and uh, at that point I needed a pianist, uh, and I went to Lorenzo Salvagni, uh, who is uh, another good friend of mine. Um, uh, so on one side we have an internationally known soprano uh, who now is in quarantine in San Remo. And unfortunately, she cannot uh, sing all over the world like she usually does. Uh, and she cannot keep on winning awards like she usually does because she is in an apartment overlooking the beautiful Italian sea. And on the other hand, we have a, an incredibly uh, amazing uh, person and pianist and composer and uh, a published author uh, in Lorenzo Salvagni who... Uh, lives here in Cleveland. So uh, we put these two people together to have a little project together. And the piece is uh, O Salutari Sostia from uh, Rossini's Petite Mess uh, Solennel, which is an incredible uh, piece of music. Um, it's 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 part of a mass, but it's a very uh, different type of mass. It's very intimate. It's not the Rossini of Barber uh, of Seville of or Italiana in Algeria. It's not the Rossini that ends uh, uh, the f first finale of the opera uh, with an explosion of excitement and sounds. This is this is a very intimate intimate Rossini. And why, why is it an intimate Rossini? Well, uh, the guy has, uh, has stopped composing for about uh, 30 years at this point uh, because, uh, because uh, when he was about 36 years old, he decided that he did enough. He did enough and he was very, very successful very successful. In fact, Barbara Seville is an opera that he composed in his uh, early 20s. And just a side note, that's not what I was doing in my early 20s. Uh, but Rossini was. So 
he was very successful. And at 36, he retires. He moves to France. And he enjoys life. He enjoys life a lot. Uh, he has parties. He eats and he composes the music that he wants to compose. Um, this piece uh, was commissioned, but uh, people also think that uh, he had uh, his own reasons um, to compose it. Uh, and it's from 1863. He died in 1868, so it's pretty, it's pretty late in his, in his life. Um, I'm very, I'm, I'm very excited to be presenting this to you. Um, I just would like to give you an example of uh, why opera is so amazing. Uh, at the first, at the first performance, uh, we 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 could have found we we found Rossini sitting, not at the piano, but next to the pianist because he was the page turner. Let me repeat, Rossini was the page turner uh, at his premiere, uh, at the premiere of his own piece, and that is Rossini. Uh, and he was nodding his head to give the right tempi to people. What an incredible sight. It's just an incredible sight. Ah, wow. Um, this is the kind of stuff that today you probably find in a, in a, in a jazz club. Uh, people nodding their heads and there's the composer on the side or he's sitting at the piano or he's turning pages because that was, that was the environment. It was, it was a very, very active, uh, engaging uh, sight. Uh, people were 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 noisy. They were acting and reacting to what was going on, and and that's the that's the way to do it. Uh, so that's why opera is so is so exciting because it's just uh, it just it excites people, and people always have to have something to say. So anyway, uh, I digress. Also, one 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 interesting fact is that. Uh, um, in 1867, basically the year before his death, he decided to orchestrate this, but he didn't tell anybody, but he wanted to do it because he didn't trust anyone else to do it uh, after his death. I would understand why, but that's I, I, I found that uh, funny and amusing at the same time. Um, so this particular this particular selection, I would like to I would like to read the translation for you. Um, obviously, it's in Latin, but we are going to do the translation not in Dutch or German, but we are going to pick English for today. Oh, saving victim! Opening wide the gate of heaven to man below. Our foes press hard on every side. Thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. All praise and thanks to thee ascend forever, forevermore. Blessed one and three. O grant us life that shall not end in our true native land with thee. Um, there's not much to say. Um, and and uh, musically speaking, um, this is just uh, it's just perfect. So if you have any questions, I have seven people watching. Hello everybody. Hello Heidi. Hi Deb, nice to see you too. Thank you, Jason. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Theresa. Um, so if you have any questions, you, you can ask up. Um, otherwise, uh, I will leave you to this beautiful performance that I will be posting in 10 to 15 minutes. So stay tuned. I remind you that Teresa is 
uh, is in Italy in quarantine at the moment and we are in quarantine here in Cleveland including Lorenzo um, so we put together these two videos and we made we turned it into one of Rossini's O Salutaris Ostia from his um, Petit Mess Solennelle uh, enjoy, and we will be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good day. Wash your hands.